So check this out. Right now, we're out here in the backyard. Smell some poop, we gotta pick the poop up. Normally a person comes on Mondays and picks the poop up. So uh, forgive us on that. Bam, bam. That's it. Good. In your backyard is where you start connecting and communicating with your dog. If you have a backyard, if not, get to a field. A field of dreams so you can build your dream. But even more importantly, spend some time communicating, learning from your dog. Bam Bam, did you see he's jumping on me? That's fine. He's just four months old. He's got a lot to learn. <clears throat> and sometimes what I'll do is I don't have the stool with me right now. It's I'll say, here, sit. Good. You want him to get used to paying attention to you. This is how you avoid distractions and build your bond with the dog. It's a slow, steady process. The other thing that you want to do, put the leash on at times. <sighs> I had my thumbs bad. He didn't want to did this. <laughs> and just walk up and down the backyard. Let's go. Hard walk, hard walk, hard walk. Come on. Boom, let's go. Good boy. Look at that there. Good boy. Give him a little treat. He's doing a good job. I'll take the leash off. Oh. Good boy. And I'll reward him for doing various things and it's that simple so one thing I tell you to do use the crate the crate gets them into a routine aka gets you into a routine ego and them know after about two three o'clock they're gonna get to come outside and play or do some training cardio is not enough for any of these dogs <laughs> as he's super focused on getting the rest of these treats out of my pocket and building your bond it gives you the opportunity to do what control them in some form or fashion in bigger environments. We go to the park, we go to here, here, and there. They need to be focused on me. I need to keep them safe. Remember, anything rooted in pit bull, meaning somewhere down there, there's this pit seed. They're independent thinkers. The minute the dog believes, beyond a reasonable doubt, that it does not need you, and that it can do anything, you have a problem. And that's harder to get the dog to refocus. Not impossible. I like to start them early, start them quick. So three things that I would do, start with the crate, create good habits, leash training, as early as eight and 12 weeks, sooner the better. And that could be putting the leash on, just letting the dog walk around with the leash. Says, hey, my dog don't want to walk on the leash. Just leave the, leave the leash on while it's at, at the house or in the backyard roaming around. Hopefully don't pee and poop on it too much. Second, and the third thing, which goes to all things is patience. It requires a lot of patience to get this right, people. A lot of patience, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort, a lot of work. Stay tuned, take care of your dogs. If I was getting a new puppy, we'd start in the crate, we'd then work through our backyard, and then we start walking through our, our neighborhood. Go to some fields, go to some parks, especially if they're accustomed and comfortable on the leash, and keep building our bond. Thanks for watching, guys.